Hello everyone and thanks for joining. In this session, I'm gonna show you how to convert uh, columns into rows. So in this case, we're looking at COVID deaths uh, by country. So each column is an uh, individual country name. What we're gonna do is convert those columns into rows so that in our visualizations, we can filter for individual countries. Right now it's very difficult because they're columns. We need them to be individual rows for each country. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so let's jump right in. Here's our data set. So we're currently the rows are by date and we have an individual column for each country. We're gonna bring these countries over and create uh, rows out of them. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo here. First thing we're going to do is right click on our data set and click edit query. From here, uh, we have our uh, query. We're going to click on transform. We are going to click on uh, unpivot columns and we're going to click on unpivot other columns. So basically what that's doing is right now we have our date selected. By default, you see it's highlighted yellow, meaning it's selected. And we're going to unpivot every other column, which is our other uh, countries. So we're going to just click on that. And then here we go. We now have our dates and then each row is a country and then how many deaths uh, occurred in that country on that given day. Just to simplify things for us, we're going to convert. Uh, we're just going to change the names here. So we're going to call this country by double clicking it and then editing the title. Here, we're going to change value to deaths just to make it clear for us. Also, this is all numerical values. So what we're just going to do is we're going to convert that to a whole number by clicking on the data type and changing that. So now our deaths is a number. And in this specific data set, they had world as a country. We're not going to use world as a country because it's not an actual country. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to actually remove uh, the world. So just so we have actual countries in there. So we did that. Click on the home tab and click close and apply. It's going to load our data. And now you're going to see with the change we made to the query, all of our columns have now become rows. And I'll show you quickly the benefit of doing this is that now we can look at our data here. We can have country as a filter. Uh, so let me just click on that here. So now we have our slicer or filter as I like to call it. And what we can do quickly is just do a quick, I don't know, a bar chart with uh, the date. And let's just put date here. So you can see how the uh, evolution of deaths have occurred over time. And then what you could do is, you know, you can go filter for any country, which you wouldn't have been able to do otherwise because they were in columns. So by putting it as a row, like we did doing the old switcheroo, you can now filter for that given country instead. So what we'll do is we'll click Canada. And as you can see, deaths in Canada over time. So quickly, if ever you have data sets, you know, at your work or doing your own analysis, and you see that you have a bunch of values in columns that you would much prefer to be rows, so you can filter on it directly in Power BI. That's a quick and easy way to do it. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll take a look. Thanks so much and I'll catch you guys next time.